the motor and uh, window, the motor and regulator inside the window. But I found out that this part number right here is 741127. And I got this one right here from O'Reilly. And this one right here, can you come in? This right here, I got it from AutoZone. And I'm gonna show you the difference. If you look at this one, this fits perfectly. It's about a uh, one inch wide. So the only thing I need to do is just take this, this off and I can just put it in. But this one right here from O'Reilly, it's a lot smaller. So I would actually have to completely take the window out and replace this part and this part. So it's the same identical part number, but it's got different fittings. If I turn it over, even the motor here is different. It got a bigger gear on this one, and this gear is a little smaller. So you can see the different designs. So the one that I need, and probably the one that everybody else need, would be the one from AutoZone. So I'm gonna replace it with this. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Pause it. All right, first thing you wanna do is remove this bracket. You don't need this bracket. You can use the bracket that's already in there. The only thing you have to do is come over here, zoom in, and just bend this back with some needle nose pliers. Then you can slide this right off. You don't need this bracket. You just use the bracket that's in there. Right, pull in here, and there's some screws back here. Just take these off. Take this part off too. <laughs> now I got eleven millimeters. And I also got a ten millimeter. So what I'm gonna do is loosen these up for right now.
we good. Do not put it back on. These little hooks come in here. They come right down in here. So what you want to do? Get that right there. Take this. Put it in here. Putting everything back together. This is the one I have forgot to take off. Just grab it. Take this little piece. I need to put a little screw in there. Mm. See? Try. 